Pandas Surprising Day. Where's Mondi? Where are you, Sapanda? Mondi, Mondi. Grandma had a black chicken called Mondi. Every day, Honda gave Mondi her breakfast, but one day she didn't come. Grandma, <coughs> have you seen Mondi? said Honda. No, said Grandma, but I can see your friend. I care, said Honda. Let me find Mondi. The two friends looked all around the chicken house. Clock, clock, they saw brown hairs and and white pants and look, said the two, flap, flap. Two big spotty butterfly flew past. Very pretty, said Hilda. But they are not Mondi. Maybe she's under the grain store. They peeped under the grain store. Squeak, squeak. Three tiny mice were nibbling grains of sweet corns. They ran when they saw the girls. Mondi's not here, said Hilda. Let's see if she's behind those pots. They peep behind some big red pots of fur. Pit up, pit up, pet. Lizards are cute. Four little yellow and blue lizards were running in and out of the pots. But where's Molly? said Hannah. She might be hunting in those trees. They're cute. The trees were full of red flowers. Five green, orange, green, and orange sunburst were sipping juice from the flowers. I can't see Wendy, he said. Maybe she's gone up the hill. They're climbing on the hill, said the Six jumpy crickets were hopping in the grass. I want to catch them, said the two. I want to find Mondi, said Hanga. Let's go down to the water hole. She may have gone for a drink. The water hole was as big as a lake. Look down there, said the two. Croak, croak. Seven baby bullfrogs with big round eyes were catching flies. But where's oh what's this? Oh no. Footprints. The girls follow the footprints. Slip, slip. Oh no, spoonbills. There were eight big birds with bills like spoon. There is slurping water from the lake. Mommy's really gone, said Panda. Maybe a spoonbill ate there, said the kid. Or maybe a lion gobbled her up. And that girl said. They walked by. They walked back toward horse grandma. Look there, said the kid. Nine tricky stars were stealing sweet corns from a friend. Handa wasn't looking. Listen, she said. Sheep, sheep, what's that? Sheep, sheep, he's coming from under the bush. Shall we peep? Handa and Akio ran down to look. It was dark under the bush. They could see broken eggshells. Something was moving. Chip, chip. Chase, said the kid. Clock, clock. Mondi, said the kid. Panda. Mondi came out. Mondi came out into the sunshine with ten fluffy chip. They were black, brown, yellow, and white. Wow, said Panda and Akio. They ran back to Grandma's as fast as they could. Never mind, they said Grandma. Now come and have some breakfast. Mondi and her chicks had sweet corn and water. The girl has cornbread and cool fresh milk. What 
the surprising one said Honey. A lot of surprises said a tear. She got up to go back to her village. Bye, see you later, said Honey. There may be more surprises today. Fruity surprise, tangerines. Banana, guava, orange, mango, pineapple, avocado, pear, and passion fruit. I can't wait to give a kid be surprised, said Hannah. She put seven tasty fruit in a basket, a yellow banana, a sweet guava, a juicy orange, a red mango, a big pineapple, a green avocado pear, and a purple passion fruit. I wonder which fruit my friend will like best. Hannah balanced the big round basket on top of her head. She stood up slowly and set up for a cute village. She could see the dirt, dry, dusty path, but she couldn't see anything above her head. So Honda didn't see something with hairy arms and a long tail. It was looking down from a tree at her fruit. A monkey! I bet a kill with the banana best, said Honda. Monkey swung down and grabbed the banana. Honda didn't see his car. She just threw happily on it. Something was hiding in the tall grass by the path. It has a long neck and a pink beak. It spots Tanda's fruit. An ostrich. I kill's best fruit, maybe. Guava, said Tanda. The ostrich tiptoed up behind her and gobbled her guava. Tanda didn't see a thing. The sun was sharp, but the breeze kept Tanda cool. Something else <coughs> was hiding in the long grass. Something with black and white stripes. It could smell a lovely fruit. A zebra through the orange. In the orange be a key's favorite button. The zebra picked up and stretched the orange. And I heard the grass shaking behind it. It must be the wind, she said. So Honda was halfway to a cube. Something moved in the grass behind it. It has great big fluffy ears and a trunk. It had seen Honda's fruit. An elephant, maybe the mango is a cube's favorite. Panda. The elephant put up its trunk and took and the mango. <laughs> the basket wobbled. Oops, said Panda. That one is strong. She walked down. The grass by the path was tall like a wall. Panda didn't see the tallest animal in the world. It was looking down at her fruit. A giraffe. Panda wondered if a kill would like the pineapple, but the draft bent down and lifted up her pineapple. The basket rocked. Help! said Panda. My basket feel lighter, but I'm too scared to look around. Is there a monster? Panda walked faster. Something with long, misty horse was peeping through the grass. It saw Panda's foot. An antelope. I'll soon be there, said Honda. I wonder if Aki will like the avocado best. The antelope crept up the stove. The avocado. Honda didn't see. She hurried down past fields and trees. Something was sitting on a branch above her head. It had red and green feathers and a sharp beak. This part had the last fruit. A parrot! Nearly at Akio, said Hanta. 
You show us the passion fruit best. The parrot picked up the passion fruit. The hamster's basket was empty. Something else was looking at Panda. It has hers and walked around his neck. A curious big bad goat, said Panda. Okay. <coughs> the parrot, I'm glad it's time to approach. The goat pulled the rope. Oh no, the roof broke. The goat charged after Panda. <coughs> da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. But he tripped on the rope and crashed into a fruit deep, just as Honda went under him. Little orange words fell, pita pat, pita pat, into Honda's basket. Honda walked into the village. A kill, she called. I bought you a surprise. Tangerines, said a kill. My favorite fruit. Tangerines, said Honda. That is a surprise. He lifted the basket down. It was filled with sweet tangerines. Let's have a picnic, said the kill. All their friends had a wonderful time pulling and eating the juicy little fruits. The big bad goat. What a lovely day I had at a kill's end. On the way to her friend's village, Honda had lost several fruits. But she had found lots of juicy tangerines. They'd had a tangerine party. Now Honda was on her way home. She had ten tangerines in a basket on her head. A present for Grandma. What happened to my seven fruit? Honda wondered. A present fruit? An avocado pear, a pineapple, a mango, an orange, a guava, and a banana. A cute big black goat was looking at Panda. He shook his long horns and the rope around his neck. He wanted the butt Panda to hit her with its head. Panda spotted something small and purple on the dusty red pet. A passion fruit skin. That's awesome. I lost a passion fruit this morning. The goat charged the panda. The dumb, the dumb, the dumb. But it, but it didn't come near. His rope got stuck between some rocks, and the goat was pulled off his feet. Ah! And I didn't see the goat, but she saw something green and shiny on the ground. A squashed avocado pear. My goodness, said Honda as she walked ahead. I was done avocado this morning. The goat pulled his rope free. Cross and dusty, it wanted to. It ran to but Honda. The dumb, the dumb, the dumb. But it skated on a squashed avocado. Wee! And landed in a prickly bush. Panda was way in front now. She saw a large yellow lump poking out of the grass by the path. A mashed up pineapple. No, I never, she said. I was the pineapple this morning. The big bad goat had, goat had prickles all over. It charged at the Panda. The dumb, the dumb, the dumb. But the lizard ran out and tripped the boat. Ah! It went flying into the pineapple. Hannah was halfway home now. She saw a creamy white stain on the path by some very tall grass. A mango stone. Well, well, said Hannah. And was the mango this morning. The goat had stuck. The goat had the pineapple stuck on the this horse it charred the dumb, the dumb, the dumb. But an elephant's baby peeped out of the grass. It pulled the goat's tail. Ouch! And ran back to his mom. Honda held her basket of ten tangerines as she passed a big hole in the path. She spotted something orange next to the hole. Orange peel.
fancy dancing. I was an orange this morning. The goat has a very short tail and a pineapple juice in its side. It charged again. The dum, the dum, the dum. But it fell into the hole head first. And the legs waved in the air. I'll soon be home, said Hilda. And I will love these tangerines. She saw a pale green leaf on the path and something yellowy brown under a tree. That looked like a guava leaf and a banana skin. How funny, said Hilda. I was the guava and banana this morning. The big bad goat came out of the hole with a lump on its head. It was mad and it badly wanted to butt Hilda. The dumb, the dumb, the dumb. Hilda didn't see the goat and she couldn't see the monkey in the tree. The monkey was throwing the tangerines. Ouch! at the goat. Ouch! 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 A tangerine hit the goat's bottom. Ouch! It then fly. It went running back to the Achilles village. Hilda didn't see a thing. She walked down to Grandma's house. Grandma, ten tangerines, said Hilda. Grandma gave her a big hug. Then Hilda looked in her basket. Five tangerines, but I set up with ten. What a surprising day.